Mainit-init talaga, GG Sphere, hashtag palagpagan, Fennel Versity RRQ, a rematch sa ating WCSPH Grand Finals ulit. Now, sinabi, uh, the, the panel already have shown us a quick mm. background no, kung ano nangyari between these two teams. Fennel Adversity right now, meron silang momentum. They are from behind, of course. Pumunta pa sila, of course. Uh, they are the second best dito sa WCS sub-region natin. Of course, here in the Philippines. Tapos, they have gone through the gauntlet doon sa play-ins. And now, they have taken, of course, one of the strongest teams doon. That is one team. And here we are, GG Sphere. Their rivals sa ating sub-region here in the Philippines. RRQ ulit in a best of five. Again, Icons Qualifiers is a stake. So, walang muna, wala munang kaibig-kaibigan dito, oh. GG Sphere. Palagbagan talaga. Kumbaga, wala munang kwento-kwentuhan dito. No? Seryoso lang tayo dito, mga kaibigan. This oh, time, yeah. kung kahapon, kalaban natin ng Team Flash, this time, this is going to be PH versus PH, as we mentioned nga. At medyo malaki ang stake dito. Again, the icons, mm -hmm. mga kaibigan na slot. And at the same time, kung sino din dito talaga, yung, alam mo yun, redemption arc in a way. Because RRQ again was able to defeat FLA during the Grand Finals ng ating WCS Philippines. This time, mga kaibigan, mm -hmm. looking at the lineup, of course, we're gonna be seeing Helios in the top lane gamit ang kanyang vein. Wow, great switch of lanes nga. This is very interesting opening game, Papa. Okay. Speaking of which... Okay, interesting oh. indeed. Tinamaan mga kaibigan ng last embrace. They yap ng bagya. Itong si Arisen oh. was forced to use that flash and exhaust. Unfortunately, he will still fall down. That's gonna be the first blood sa kamay ng RRQ. Great momentum, great early start for the side of RRQ and great punishment indeed doon sa bot side natin. You cannot really underestimate the Sena Gragas combo always, and always. that first damage is just insane. But of course, merong brom dito si Arisen right now. I'm really looking forward for Arisen as a support to have those big impact na mga champion, no? But this time around, very defensive here on the bot side. I think they are going to go rely damage potential dito kay Arise on the chase. And remember, sa drops natin, uh, GG Sphere, they have banned, priority banned, Erelia ni Chaz. And quick, ano lang, facts, no? Chaz of, uh, uh, Erelia's Chaz, rather, is perfect pa yung win rate niya since WCSPH. Yes, and with that two wins that they were able to get with that Erelia, napakalaki talagang momentum ang nakuha doon ng RQ. Imagine, after one win na nakuha ng FLA, after that four straight wins or five na nakuha mm. ka dito ng RQ, in which they were able to win that one sa ating Grand Finals. Pero ito nga, itong laban na ito, this is best of five. This is not best of seven. So medyo konti lang yung room natin para magkaroon ka agad ng mabilis ng adjustments. Alam mo, ito yung pinaka-interesting dito dito, you know, having a vein in actually going for the top lane against Agaren. Remember, mm. Silver Bolts natin, that is an HP percentage based the damage in which mas malaki yung damage siya pag mas malaki yung HP mo. Mm -hmm. Now that you mentioned it, uh, GG Sphere, it is actually a lane advantage dito kay Helios mm. sa kanyang vein. So, I really thought it is gonna be Arise and Helios so uh, going to be a matchup in the middle lane but this is also a big brain move coming from the side of RRQ with the lane swap. Now here, under 10 seconds. Ito na yung hashtag balabagan will really be felt because our objectives are going to spawn right now. Yes, objectives indeed will be there. At makang minamatahan ka agad ang RQ ang uh, referral natin dito because alam naman nating lahat ng FLA. Lagi yung nag-referral first bago yung Dragon. Pero this time, there's going to be a switch in terms okay. of getting to objective. Magkakaroon sila ng swap dito. Kung baga switch in music, yun ang nangyayari mm -hmm. natin sa ating pagkuha ng objective ka agad. Baka masasukur nila yung kanilang kanil mga objective at pupunta ka agad sa ating mga bot lanes yung ating mga mid laners. Alright, uh, kanya-kanyang music indeed. Uh, going for their own rhythm muna dito with Fennel Adversity going for that Infernal Dragon. Oh! Oh! Nagkahulihan, muntik ng makaisa. Alam mo naman talaga yung mga hatak ng mga daris natin. Talagang <laughs> on point ever since kahapon, no? Maraming mm. base natin nakita yan. Exactly. And speaking of kahapon, Devil J, medyo yung performance, you know, is really not that much as we expected, no? He oh, was really uh, underperformed against the side of Ysera dito. But this is his chance for this redemption nga, yung sinabi mo kanina, uh, GG Sphere, because Devil J right now here at Darius, big play, to, uh, to a big role rather, to play here in the series. Maraming melee champions dito yung Final Adversity, and he must be the frontline dito.
Nakubo, nag-abong sila dito sa korte. Delikado ang buhay ni Kalma. Dalawa yan. Ay sila dito siya pa nagkata para mahuhuli siya dito. Pero mga kaibigan, tumalo na ang ating ipis sa loob. There's going to be the redemption na ginamit dito mga kaibigan ni Kalma. The bot lane. Pero siya sumunyong magkaroon ng mag-trade pa. Nag-proke na yung kanyang passive dito. At tinakpak na mga kaibigan. Ang slam dunk na normally nagtatagal ng limang episode na pasok na kagad ni Devil J dito. And here comes the referral. Secure the first tier kagad in the bot lane in the hands of Chas. Napaka-solid. Napaka-solid. Great punishment. RRQ prioritizing the bot side talaga. That is two kills in a row uh, coming in from the side of RRQ. Nasa bot lane natin. So this is going to be a map control shifting into the favor for the side of RRQ. FLA naman dito sa kabila. Of course, Luden's Echo is now in the inventory of Danny. Now, Danny has the maximum damage, magic damage potential. He is also having this role uh, to fill in when it comes to major team fights. But now they are taking slowly but surely. Arisen right now on the Brom also have a great disengage or initiate the team fights with that glacial pressure. But, uh, but this time around, RRQ is dictating the tempo. Nahirapan sila on how to go for this Brom. Mm, tsaka at the same time, maganda yung ginagawa ng RQ dito. Ha? Looking at what they're doing right now, they really want to give Helios a free chance to go for the free farm in the top lane in which habang sila naman, the rest of the gang, the rest of the members of RQ is actually just doing the pressure, giving mm -hmm. the kills here and there. Pero papasok ka naman sila ng mga kaibig sa top lane natin dito. Hinahabon nila ngayon si Arisen. Kasama niya si, De uh, si Kaibigan Danny and si Tomek. But they're not gonna go in. They have the information, they have the words. Nakita sila dito ng Skyrish Bloom and they won't go in muna for now. But Chaz, waiting sa Gendy sa ating Pader dito, oh. there's going to be the curse of Black Mace para magkaroon sila ng konting invisibility sa kanilang mga champion. But still, that's three champion to top Now, waiting patiently, mm -hmm. trying to go for the first, piece, uh, first push. Finally, for their team, kung sakali man. But the, the oh. wave clear is more than enough. Upgraded na yung kanyang void spike dito. So, medyo maganda na yung AOE nitong si Chaz. And mm -hmm. for now, they were able to successfully to fight top lane. Which is great. RRQ is doing it pretty good right now. Uh, alam nila, of course, final adversity. Kailangan nila bumawi when it comes to target objectives. But RRQ is not giving it away. Great defense, great rotations for the side of RRQ this time around. But final adversity, alam naman natin, when it comes to scaling potential, you have to look out for Danny. Arise is also going to be the champion as well. The player oh. to be looking out for. Pero Helios, silently. Of course, nakita na natin. Here on this vein is growing so much. Now, the Blade of the Ruined King is in his inventory. Masakit yan, Besh. Especially during the later stages Ay. of the game. Totoo yan, RP. Alam mo naman, pag nabuunan niya yan, sigurado magbibigay siya ng mas mahirap pang pressure. For sure. But looking at his first item, no, recursive bow, probably, I think he will, he will probably go for a wit's end no, afterwards mm -hmm, yeah. to, to try to disregard the damage of Danny dito. And in home, for sure, he wants to go, just want to show the respect overall para kay Danny na alam niya na pwede siya mabigyan ng matinding pressure dito at hindi siya magkaroon ng maganda pagkakataon na makapag-rehip. Now, FNA, mm -hmm. this time sa ating second referral, they will be able to get this one. Kahit hindi nila makuha yung ating first referral, no problem. Kasi sa pangalawang mga objectives natin, nagkapalitan na naman sila ng kanilang mga main objectives. Yeah, gusto nila i-punish talaga yung top side dito. Now, they do have the referral. They do have the advantage right now to go for the plane pressure. Pero yung RQ dito sa mid, they are going to oh. switch. Oh my gulay, Danny, super low na. Mm. Tingalong ni Chaz. And that's going to be a secured kill for them. Once again, getting them the 4K gold lead sa laban natin. 8 minutes pa lang, going slowly towards 9 minutes. And the referral is still there in the hands of Domex. Yeah, they're not forcing team fight. Uh, low life naman yun, uh, Tarek, sa top side natin. But again, the map... Oh, Glacial Fisher! Oh, tina. Ito na yata ang pagbawi ng IFLA, mga kaibigan. Ginamit ang Glacial Fisher doon. Pero exhausted. Napakakunat na. Sobrang tigas ng taba itong si Gragas. <laughs> Sobrang tigas ng taba. Plus, with a gargoyle, stone plate pa nga. On enchant oh. na kanya. So, gonna absorb the damage. Roa as well. Additional health para sa kanyang Gragas. So, alam na naman natin, of course, when it comes to this composition as well, Gragas X so Sen has the body slam just in case nakita natin a Ryzen dito Ay. going to initiate the team fight with a glacial fisher it's gonna be easy for them to go for the disengage go for the counter punch Opo. pero oh eh, something is brewing so Sen wala siyang own state dito pag nagkataon tinikado ang kanya buhay pero napakunat ang kanya gratis dito with a round of ages na meron siya together with the wingman 
Moonblade, pero sa amon ng ating referral to the video, hindi to 2007 natin ating HP ni Sabine ni Dane. Pero mukhang mukha po nila ito if they can actually, with five members being there, pero alam yan ng RRQ. So they have to defend this one, they can burn the bomb, the initial damage will be there. Ang straight talent, RRQ super low yung kanyang HP, pero pa siyang Donic Shadow, ginamit niyo yung heal niya kanina. But referral, at mukha pa rin nila ang first tier sa mid lane with a satchel charge coming from Dali. Grabe talaga yung Ziggs, no? When it comes to lane pressure, wave clear, at saka turret objective takedowns. Now they have taken away yung turret sa mid against RRQ. Open na open na yung jungle area ng side ng uh, RRQ dito. But uh, final adversity right. right now, Yumus Ghostblade coming in from the side of Arise. He needs that movement speed to roam around the map, which is final adversity doing right now. Doing it indeed mga kaibigan, ito na ang kamandag ng Vayne Pero si Hinos delikado ang kanya buhay dito kasi ito na yung mga tropa Itong si Khan, kalmado What? lang daw, tumulo na si Chas Wala kang tao-tao na parang hindi all of you kanya kalaban dito And now goes to the Donic Shadow But that will just give the damage Buhay pa rin si Doming, buhay din si Hinos Walang casualties na magkabi lang panic Woo! Sliver of health for Doming Buti na lang buhay pa sa pero may confirm na pa sa gita hindi pa rin tapos ang laban nila dito just going for the black mist together with okay. the last embrace at ang huling yakap na yun wala mo ng trade pa rin kahit medyo mainit sila sa laban na to Okay, now na nakita natin GG Sphere no, na Final Adversity is doing these rotations right now doing this pick of plays itong kailangan nila of course they, this is the time na kailangan nila to go for the skills as well controlling the map across the wild rift but Maganda yung rotations, map awareness as well for the side of RRQ. And nakita naman natin, of course, Helios. Siya yung target doon sa bot side. But having this last pick vein, alam nila nga heavy engagers to. Yung composition ng Final Adversity, dash away, dash away lang to. Helios has the advantage when it comes to mobility. Yes sir, pati saka habang tumatagal, lalong sumasarap itong exactly. si Helios. Tignan mo naman yung damage niya. Uh, which end this up? Slowly mm -hmm. going towards Solari Charge, babe. Looking at his items right now. And remember, late game-wise, it's always going in favor of Vayne. Unless magkaroon ng mispositioning or parang, mm -hmm. uh, alam mo yun, magkaroon ng uh, hindi magandang position. Itong mm -hmm. si kaibigang Helios sa mangyayaring T-Fight natin. But overall, again, that's a Vayne. That's the real threat na kailangan nilang kaharapin dito. That's that's the point there. Position. Pwede ba nila ma ma pick mm -hmm. off dito si Helios sa likod with proper positioning or alam naman natin on how mechanically skilled si Helios. So mispositioning is really one of the great danger of oh. uh, of the side of RRQ. Pero ito na nga, the dragon has been spawned and uh, Final Adversity is, is doing it. Is it pansit mga kaibigan? Ito ang T-Fight na mabago yata ng dikta ng laban na ito. Could be the end of FLA throughout the entire game or RRQ this time. Will get again, maintain the composure that they have. Pre-hit si Ace again. Di, ginamit ang Glacier Fisher pero nayakap sila. The last embrace will be there. Look at the explosive gas! All point mga kaibigan pero Helios, tahimik lang sa Gendy. Hindi siya nila pinapasok sa loob. That's going to be a secured kill para sa kanya. Gal will fall down at wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. This is the exciting part na hinihintay natin mga kaibigan. And they were able to get the dragon. Now, they can transition into a baron because two members of FLA is down. Grabe, Exosen with that explosive cast. Was that a god yung formation ng side ng Final Adversity? And at that moment in time, flash in doon agad Oo. si Helios and transition for the early battle. Oo, ha? Tatlo to mga kaibigan. They can still try to, uh, they can actually attempt to steal this one. Miss Tita, they still have the uh, smite itong si Domen, pero flashing in! Malong na loob! Hininto nila! They stopped getting the battle because they know Doming can actually steal it! Oh my... Mission impossible ng ayoy for the side of the University Toming against the world against the whole RRQ team and eto nang the early baron already being secured dito GG Spear for the side of RRQ malaking bagay to again the map control wala pang kills yung side of Penal University and grabe na yung progression dito ng side of RRQ and Pwede na nila, actually, uh, magbara yung outer turrets dito ng side of Penal University. Yes, indeed. And with that Baron buff, they can pretty mm. much secure this win for sure. Konti na lang ang taste na kailangan nilang tank hit. Ito yung replay kanina. Oo oh, nga, yun, napakaganda ang explosive cast yun. And look at Helios. Helios there, flash it! Bam! Okay, cleaning party. Oo oh, nga, yun. grabe yung hold, grabe yung chase, grabe yung team fight na yun coming in from side of RRQ. And ito na nga, speaking of team fight, support na. Oh. 
Again, it's still at the Baron buff, ha? May just pre-push ginagawa nila dito. Merong isa sa mid, merong isa sa top lane, merong tatlo naman sa ating bot lane. This is going to be very interesting how our Q are gonna be able to utilize yung Baron buff that we have right now. 2,800 yung HP ng ating uh, third, second, third turret here in the bot lane. Habang nagbibigay lang ng ating Baron buff, no? To, to empower yung ating mga minions sa ating mid lane. Make it for the buff, they use the bot lane, pero napakunat niya. Again, they are empowered ng ating Baron buff dito. We still have the, the third, third turret here in the bot lane, pero yun nga, lang you mid lane na kuno mababayaan to get the top lane oh my goodness now the siege continues parang they are going to force into this inhibitor inhibitor turret gg sphere eh they pwedeng pwede to pwede nila actually kunin nito right now this is a pretty good job for our RQ to go for the speed push hindi lang basta basta speed push kasi tatlong lane yung pino problema ngayon ng FLA just going to be glacial push para mas low itong si Helios but I don't think they will go in muna for now turret in the top lane has been destroyed walang lumipensa walang mga depensa at ang sobrang utilized the baron buff ay ginamit ngayon ng RQ now slowly pushing to Towards bot lane as well. Two inhibitor turret is down already. Mid lane and top lane. One to the lang ish pa natin sa ating bot lane. But they will not go in muna for now kasi nag-expire na yung kanilang baron buff. Grabe na. Napakabilis naman yung game 1 natin. And remember WCSPH Grand Finals? It was actually Fennel Adversity. Yung one-sided game na yun going forward in their favor. But right now, RRQ is showing the same vibe. Dito sa WC, WCS Finals, Final Adversity being pushed against the wall. Pwede ba ba sila magka-comeback? Again, misposition mm -hmm. is the key. Pero XO said, nandito sa brush, just providing information. Explosive cast has okay. been thrown. Misposition lang sila dito. No? Nagkalat ng bahagya ang FLA doon. But again, Nerf, this just shows kung gaano ka-effective, gaano kalakas si Vayne overall, individually as a champion. She mm -hmm. doesn't need any support lulu man yan or yumi man yan hindi niya kailangan kaya niya talaga maging malakas dito by herself alone kaya kaya niya talaga with look at the items right now 1 uh, 1-0 to yung kanyang score 14,000 yung kanyang gold dito and he, she's, she's pretty much prepared for everything yung sino man tumaba uh, sumubok na pumasok sa laban oh. natin even it's a garen hindi niya pa-problemahin yan kahit si Brom pa yan and the break has gone they're not positioned oh. themselves tumama yung last place yung last place niya when there's going to be Devil J going in pero eto na naman mga kaibigan exhausted itong si Helios pero hindi siya napagod sa nangyaring iyon they're getting the blue buff or red buff rather also slowly moving towards the dragon they still have the ultimate up pero ginamit Ang gamitan ni Helios yung kanyang final hour, remember, wala siyang mm -hmm. ultimate dito, wala siyang invisible. But again, that's Akazix, Chazix, slowly getting the dragon for himself. Habang si Helios naman, pachepe-chepe lang sa Gently, habang kasakit ng damage Kuya Eti, they're now going in, oh. initunin yung pagkuha ng dragon dito, making some transition. After getting the dragon, they're not gonna get it for now, but Arisen will fall down. Ang next target nila ay wala ba ako ni si Dani, na huli mga kaibigan. We're still seeing right now, nagnamit siya kaya Stacey Setchan, pero niyakap, pinalahol mga kaibigan. And now, Calm is gonna be there to try to tank the damage brick wall Kung bagay yung kanyang ginagawa dito Pero hindi niya kakayanin kasi nga Lima pa ang miyembro ng RRQ The minions are slowly pushing in Here comes Ilios, ginamit niya yung kanyang final hour Nag cooldown na yan, aray sa kinahapol Look at the damage, napakasakit Kuya Eddie And the Nexus will fall down Sa kamay ng RRQ, getting the first win Dati